Hello everyone and welcome to Thermodynamics 2 MEG351. In this course we will be mostly applying the concepts we learn in Thermodynamics 1. Okay? This course includes the following chapters. So we will start with the review of the material we covered in Thermodynamics 1, followed by a big chapter regarding steam power cycles. We will spend uh, roughly one third of our semester on this chapter. Then we will move on to gas power cycles. So we'll be introducing or revisiting auto cycle, Brighton cycle, and we'll add also diesel cycle and jet engines. At the end of this second large part, which will take us also one third of the semester, we will combine the two chapters by creating combined cycles, meaning that we will be combining Rankine cycle with the Brighton cycle. After this, we will have several chapters that are dedicated to applications of thermodynamics. We will start with refrigeration cycles, followed by a chapter regarding gas mixtures. So in this chapter, we'll try to understand if we mix different gases, what are the new properties? We did this actually with air. For example, when we were saying that for air, K is equal 1.4. So the question is that from where this 1.4 is coming from? Actually, it was mixing the properties of nitrogen and oxygen. Then we'll have a specific application to water vapor air mixture and more specifically air conditioning okay after this our last chapter will be combustion and chemical reactions if you remember well in thermodynamics 2 we were dealing with for example combustion chambers in the brighton cycle and we were typically given the heat in in this part we will learn how to go from the mixture between the fuel and the air and get what are the products through a chemical reaction and also get in what is the heat we can get from this chemical reaction and combustion at the same time this in this chapter we'll be able to get the maximal temperature we can get thanks to a combustion chamber and we'll be calling this adiabatic flame temperature so let's go <music> 